this thing might vibrate right off the side, but I think we're good. Okay, you guys, so I thought that I would do a little vlog today from the car. I'm going to an event tonight from one of my friends um, at the Kendra Scott store, which will be fun. I'm excited to get out of the house. <clears throat> my voice is really scratchy. Uh, so, so here we are, and I have a few minutes to spare, so I thought, thought I would bring my camera, and I don't know if I'm going to film any of the event, but I thought that I would at least do a video, um, like a vlog. But I thought that I would vlog um, a little in the car and do my favorites and kind of talk. Um, so, you guys, the, uh, is my eyelash popping off? Probably. The anniversary sale's over, right? Is that right at this point when I post this? Today's the third. I'm going to post this on Monday. But by the time I post this, the anniversary sale will be over, which I'm sure some of you guys are like kind of excited about. It get, this is the thing. I genuinely love it. Y'all know. I've talked about it for years. It's my favorite thing. But when it gets to the point where it's like, ugh, it's like all you see is like, blah. Um, but I really hope that y'all picked up some of those things that I recommended. Though It's always kind of sad when it's over. But um, I want to talk about a couple of things. I want to talk about like a few favorite things. Oh, I got a facial um, I gotta talk, okay, we gotta talk about that. Just, just, just please, just hold. This is just gonna be so random. I really do kind of miss doing, like, random vlogs and stuff. I don't know, I'm trying not to touch my hair too much, because I tried to curl it, and I don't want it to fall, so I'm gonna try, like, not to touch it. So, yeah, I know, like, even just being somewhere different, or just talking to me, like, where I'm not just set up, like, even though I set up my camera, and I knew I was gonna do a video, sometimes it's just better. It's, like, a little more, like, in the moment. And I don't really like to do it while I'm actually driving. I feel like it's just too much unless if the camera is like secured, which this one is not. I used to be able to do that pretty good, but I can't right here in this car. It's just funny because like I remember how easy it used to be to do a lot of things. No, but like to just say, oh, I'm just going to vlog today. People are like, why don't, you know, why don't you vlog more often or whatever? And it's like when I would vlog, it would be like, let's go shopping or let's do something different or whatever. And, like, I am very much not about, like, making, like, okay, I don't mind showing my child. I don't, like, if it's natural or it just has to do with something. But I decided, and it really wasn't even a decision that I had to, like, make. It's just not how I was or not, it's just what I knew I didn't want to do. I just didn't want to make her into any sort of, like, content. So when I am with her which is 24 hours a day I work from home it's like you know she doesn't start preschool until next year um or pre-k I I would be showing so much or even just oh let's go to Target and my kids in the back well it's not like we'd be just talking we're listening to currently the Moana soundtrack which is burned into my brain which if you have a child I'm sure it's the same but you gotta admit Moana is not as bad as a lot of them Moana is really good actually like every time that grandma comes back to her on the boat and she starts singing and it's like I, I like I, I I'm not ashamed to say I kind of am I cry it's so it's such a good movie yeah, it's like the Moana soundtrack or it's like let's go here let's go there like I don't want to be vlogging us at the park or at Target just to say here I am doing this like I get it like I think that it's so good and I've said this for many years like I have so many friends that show their children a lot or that it's not a bad thing it's just what they do not everybody's channel is the same so with me, it's like these years have, and first of all, gone by incredibly fast, okay? Like I said, she's going to be four next year. These years with your child where it's just y'all, it's like you're so together all the time. And everything that I do during the day is either like, you know, doing something with her or like an activity or like figuring out what we're doing during the day or we're at home together. And it's like my life and my days revolve around her very, very much so. And so well, I get it like when she goes back to school or when she goes to school for the first time what an adjustment that's going to be or what I'll even do. And I used to hear mom say that and I was like, your kid's going back to school. Like, okay, you know, we get it. But it's like, I get it, you know? So that's going to be strange. But the thing is, is like I said, been doing this for 10 years, which I just celebrated yesterday, which was fun. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I kind of posted a little like story about my 10 years, whatever. Um, a little thank you, which I'll get to in a second too. But like, okay three and a half of those have been with her and it's like yeah there was a huge difference you know like I could vlog and I could do all these different things and all the and it's like yeah you say oh well you can't I don't want to you know it's just that I don't want to but I think you know it'll be the dynamical it'll be strange when she starts school but you know I'll be vlogging more and I try to vlog um when I can and still you know around the house I can do that like where it's not just like hey here she is or hey you know y'all want to really see us go to the park which no I mean that's I don't know I just I'm not into that 
Um, it's just something like it's not a decision and it's not me saying this is the better thing to do so that's what I'm doing. It just doesn't feel right. Like it doesn't feel, I don't know, like I feel like I have to be, I feel like that's more authentic to me and I feel like that's more real to me to not put everything out there, to not put all of our private moments, to not share everything. Like my, my grandma is so into social media. See, this is why, this is why, okay? This is why I love vlogs because I don't know why my brain just works differently when I'm sitting somewhere different or I'm off the cuff. I don't know what it is. My grandma is very into not social media, into YouTube. And um, you know, she's got like her TV, you know, she can watch YouTube and stuff, she's all into that. And she was telling me the other day, she's talking about, um, someone that she watches and all about their kids and stuff and about how there was like, I don't want to like say it, I don't want to figure out, but like it was something personal with a child and it was like a, um, kind of an embarrassing, cute, funny thing, but it was something very personal and it was just like no big deal. And I remember even my grandma was not like, oh, it's a big deal or whatever, but I, she didn't even say that was a big deal. But I just remember thinking like that, that is why I don't put that stuff out there. That's why I don't talk about a lot of how things are oh this is exactly the age when she potty trained and let me tell you all of our you know trials with that because I don't I think we're just all so in the mind of you share photos you do whatever I do share photos of my child I'm not saying that's bad I'm just saying I think sometimes we don't realize that when they're a certain age they're gonna be mortified by that or that that may not be okay with them And you think oh well, I can just take it down well why doesn't ever I just take down things on the internet that they're embarrassed about do you know what I'm saying and I think we just think sometimes as a, as a society that um, that it's like oh it's just the internet that's what we do and that's gonna be okay because you know that's just how it is nowadays you know kids kids will be used to that because everyone's on social media well I know a lot of friends have got kids that are preteens that are like all up in their phones all the time and they are mortified when their parents post a lot of stuff about them you know what I mean or anything at all or even want to take their pictures for school so um you I I don't know it's just it's 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 ever a decision for everybody but I'm just saying that's that's where I'm coming from hence why we're right now doing this because my child is not with me so I don't know but like I said you know it's not because I don't like vlogging it's just because you know I don't know so um what else do you want to talk about let's talk about these glasses I got some favorites I'm going to show you guys, and we have some stories to tell and some things to talk about. Y'all, these glasses are $14. I you know some people, and, and I am one of them, I pay for what, like, I feel like you pay, I can justify buying designer items if there's something designer that a certain designer likes that I want, and I'm like, oh, that's amazing. I don't try to, like, find a knockoff. I don't try to do anything like that. If I want the item enough, and I, it's, you know, it's it's within reason, it's within a budget, it's within my budget, and it's, like, makes sense to buy, I will buy that. Okay, not all the time. I don't buy everything that I want, but I don't buy something and sit and I, I'm getting sunglasses. They have to be designer or whatever. A lot of times I do do that or I come across something I think, oh, this is nice or I'm more excited about this because it's a little more special or it feels a little more special. Y'all, that is not the case with these. They're $14 and I am, have been picking these up over my Gucci. So I have these and I have them in black as well. They have like a nice little bendy thing that doesn't feel super cheap and I know like I, I totally say you get what you pay for and stuff but I just I don't know aviators are just they always feel like this to me I had a pair of Ray-Bans and they felt the same I mean I don't know you guys like I get it like there's some aviators that I'm sure people have had for years and years and they're they, they last because they're expensive they're they're a nicer brand I get it I'm not saying that does not exist I'm saying quality is there it's, most of the time if you're like paying for it but I just don't think you can go wrong with these and they fit my face really well I hate aviators I really do and these are like the first ones that I found in a long time that I really love I get that they're very like reflective so I'm not gonna I'm sorry I know there's like people driving by a lot I'm in a very busy parking lot I totally secreted this parking space by the way my grandmother when I was a kid I remember she would always say yeah, the grocery store my spots always up front and it's because I think about it she would say that all the time um, I think that it's going to be there and it is and my grandma's very much like that anyways like she'll say um, well I'm gonna have a good day and I'm, I'm a positive person and I always try to do that and it really does help and then you hear a lot of people now talking about that and the secret and all this stuff or that this was both this was before the secret when she would say that about our parking space people use that example a lot and um, I was thinking about this because I'm so is obsessed with podcasts which we'll talk about podcasts in a second too um, Kim Zolciak has a podcast now and I started listening to it like when she first did it because I just came across it and I was like oh, okay and it's actually really good like I think it's sweet that she talks with her family 
and you know her kids talk on there sometimes they talk about parenting things and it's you know I don't think that she's what a lot of people think she is I think you know and, and I think that about anyone because I've experienced that people think things about me I'm sure that aren't true and all this stuff and so I get that you know and so I shouldn't be that surprised not that I don't know what I was thinking about but it's just it was it's very like family oriented and they talk a lot and like Croy's on there a lot and then she's very positive I love everything that she says all that positivity stuff is like huge with me and I just I, I ha like I have a friend I would always say this like we would be and she's a little complainy like a complainy but like it's always drama you know or the night and she has been through some stuff okay there have been some nutty nutty situations in her life right like nuttier than you can imagine so I get it like she's gone through a lot but like she's just kind of like most people is like really like this is happening of course it is of course it is you know and, and it's kind of like we would go shopping together and we would be somewhere together and everyone would be all nice to me. This was like years and years ago. You know, I would kind of like give off a vibe. They would kind of give it back to me and be nice. And then she would always get like crapped on. Like people would never be nice to her in stores. And But she expected it. She would always say, oh, well, you know, this is going to happen. And it always would. So, I don't know. But this is what's funny. So this parking lot is insane. If you guys live anywhere near the Avalon, um, let me just tell you. This place, when it was new, was like barren nobody was here we would come here all the time it was like the greatest on earth and I mean like I mean there were people here but it wasn't like it is now now it's like the cool hit place to go which it's cute you know I mean there's a lot of cool stuff it's kind of like an outdoor shopping type place kind of like grove-ish y'all it's just the, it's the dumbest like Brad hates coming here now because he's like I don't even want to get involved in the madness it's it's complete madness granted it is like a Friday evening but it's like this all the time but anyway, so I was like circling back here. I didn't want to get in the deck because I, which the deck is full. It's like parking spaces on every level, like zero, 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 one. I'm like, no, I'm not even going up there to even see if that's correct. No. Um, so I just, I thought I would park out here so that you could at least see my face. Cause I drove around here a couple of times. When I first pulled into the parking lot, there was an accident. This girl was coming forward and instead of turning to get into the, um, parking lot, she just went straight into the guy. And so I sat there for a minute cause they could not figure out that they needed to like, you know, pull off to the side. Um, it wasn't like a major accident. It was like just doop. They backed up and then they literally didn't go anywhere. And there was like a dumpster like they could have pulled off. It's fine. It's cool. But anyway, so so then, you know, like I'm going around. I'm like, oh, this sucks. Was like this parking lot sucks. Like there's nothing here. I'm driving around and around like nothing. And so then I drove and went into the wrong thing. Turned back around. I thought I'm coming back to that parking spot, that parking lot, because that is where I want to park. There's going to be a spot. And I pulled in and there's a spot. And I'm like fairly close. I don't know whether you believe in that or not it's not like a magical thing like I say I'm gonna win the lottery so I'm gonna win the lottery I say I'm gonna make more money tonight so I'm gonna make more money tonight it's not that it's about like goals within your mind because I hear people say that sometimes even her on her podcast sometimes she says that and she understands it but I think some people hear it and I've even talked about this over the years I've talked about this a lot over the years people think about things when people hear about like the secret or like you know just imagine this and it'll happen it's not that easy it's the fact that when you imagine those things, you naturally like set that goal. I think I talked about this. It's not so much about you just imagining it and getting in the right mindset, which that is part of it, but it's almost like it becomes a goal and you naturally do things to work toward that goal. It's the same thing, but I just think some people may not think of it like that because it's not like you're just saying, oh, I want that front parking spot. It's going to be there. You hear someone say that and you're like, girl, no, like that's not that easy or else everyone will be getting front parking spaces. Well, I don't know how the parking space things works. I really don't. Okay. I don't know how the parking space thing works. Maybe that is like something magic, but I do think that like, if you're in a rut and you're thinking like, I need to make more money or I need to do this so that, you know, I can set this example for my kid or I really wish I could do this or that. Like you'll naturally do it. You'll naturally do all the things in the right direction to like get to where you need to be. Let me see what I've got in here that I can even show y'all. That would be favorite. So the glasses, oh, okay, I brought two things because I knew I was going to talk about this. Um, I have been loving that Chanel face spray, which I know is a little ridiculous, but it is good, y'all. That is some good face spray. I don't want to use this. I think I brought it with me, but I didn't. Um, but I'll tell you, it gives such a good glow. If you don't want to pay the arm and the leg that that costs, which, admittedly, if I knew it was $90 when I bought it, I know, shame me. I get it. I'm shaming myself. I wouldn't have bought it. It was like sitting next to the eye serum that I was like, oh yeah, I want to get that. And the girl was like, oh, well, that's, you know, 50 something. It was a big thing for eye serum. And I really love that. The hydrogel eye serum, which is a favorite too. And I was like, sure, I'll, I'll get that. Great. You know, 
when she was like, oh, but have you seen this? And it was the face spray. I was like, sure, I'll get that too. And I guess in my mind, I was thinking, well, it's not getting more than eye serum because Chanel um, skincare products are usually really, really pricey, like creams and stuff. So I thought the eye serum, like being 50 something dollars, I'm like, okay, well, it can't be more than that. It was $90 and I had bought so many other like little things that I was just like, I just, I don't even know. Like sometimes when you check out, sometimes you don't even tell you. I know that's stupid, but you, you know, I just, I don't even know. That's, I get it. But if you're wanting to splurge, I'd buy it. It's, it's really good, but if you want that same effect, it's not just like a face spray. It literally gives you the best glow and it's so moisturizing. Um, what I would do though is, oh, sorry, I thought I had some more. Um, I would for sure, if you don't want to spend that money, I would get the Glam Glow Glow Setter Spray. That is the other makeup setting spray that actually gives you a physical like glow without sparkle and shimmer because I don't want that. It's just something about like the mist, something about like the... I don't know just gives you the best glow so I would do that um this necklace is a favorite I really love this this was my birthday treat to myself um this Kinder Scott necklace it's part of their like fine jewelry line whatever so it's like gold and it has little diamonds in it and I've never been a huge Kinder Scott fan funny enough her event is at Kinder Scott tonight which is totally unrelated but I did wear this I, I, I would have worn this anyways but my friend and I were at uh we were he, here funny enough I'm like I hate this place I'm like here no, this place is good. I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying, guys, relax. It's a little nuts. But here I am. I'm adding to the problem. I'm here too. I know it. People are very impressed with this right now. Impressed with this whole thing. I'm just going to calm down. Okay, so it's a very trendy spot right now, which I don't like. Like, we we usually stay away from, like, crowds and, like, human beings. No, I'm, I'm kidding. That's really cool to say now, too. What is that? Everyone hates everybody. Everyone doesn't want crowds. Everyone's a loner. I get it. I mean, we're all on, like, social media, like, doing our thing and, like, getting interaction without talking to people um, and I'm naturally kind of an introvert um, like when I interact with people online when I do all that it, it I don't want to say it drains me but like it's a lot like and I guess maybe I'm not always so apt to like make an effort to like do things with people <laughs> except for like my close girlfriends you know what I mean but I love it when I do so I need to get better about that and it's hard when you got a little kid but I'm getting better about that too um, about getting out and like doing stuff. Um, okay. It's my birthday. I was here with my friend and we, we ate at this restaurant that I really like and we were just like walk. I mean, it was in the middle of the day. We we're like, well, let's go in a couple stores. Like I wasn't really planning on shopping. Um, but we walked into Kendra Scott cause she wanted some earrings to go with some of like her work clothes, whatever. And, um, oh my gosh, everyone is so irate at this woman. So there's a woman like backing out right in front of me. I'll finish that story. Don't you worry. Um, there's a woman backing out in front of me. And like the people waiting on the spot is so aggressive. The guy got out of the car, literally, and they're like asking her if she's leaving. Which I get it. Like girl could have put a little pep in that step, but people are so freaking impatient and rude. So anyways, back to my story. We went into Kendra Scott just because she was looking for earrings. And of course, like I'm, I'm like I'm looking around too, and I go over to this like case, you know, and I should have known because it's like the stuff's like in glass, right? And. I was like, oh, that's beautiful. And it was this, you know, it's like this Y kind of necklace. And I was like, oh, it's like, how much is that? And she's like, oh, that's a part of our fine line. It's like real diamonds and real gold. And I was like, oh, fancy. And she was like, but you know, you can save 25%, you know, if it's around your birthday. And I was like, it just so happens to actually be around my birthday. And so, you know, I showed her and stuff. Because it was. It was only like a couple days after my birthday, I think. It was like the weekend after my birthday. I saved 25% on it. So I got this and I got this little bracelet. Which I really love. This is, I know, this is very heavy Kinder Scott. I get it. I'm not affiliated with these people in any way other than that I can link to them, which I can link to anything. So no, these companies are not paying me to promote anything. I choose what I want to talk about, which is the beauty of, honestly, affiliate links. I trust people so much that do a lot more with affiliate links because when I started doing that more, like five, six years ago, my content got so much more organic. Not that I ever, like, waited for people anyways to, like, you know want to send me stuff because I was never about that YouTube ads paid out more back then anyways I didn't care you know it was more about views which now it's you know like back then it wasn't so I guess I was like <clears throat> I was doing okay with my YouTube views which were more back then anyways um but so I didn't really care about that or wanting people like to pay me to promote things so naturally like around the time the advertisers start paying stopped paying out as much I, I naturally started doing more like affiliate links like it, with something that I did myself you know what I mean 
and I thought, holy crap, like this has been missing all along. Like I can actually shop and buy my own things. I can talk about whatever the hell I want. I don't have to have anyone tell me what to do and I can continue this. Okay, so, but you guys get that. I think everybody understands how that works nowadays, but um, so funny, but okay, whatever. So love this. It's like a little bracelet that it like has like a little pave. Dealey, this is not a part of the fine jewelry line but um, it has these old danglers. So what else do we wanna talk about? Okay, favorites. No, let me talk to you about this weird facial. Okay, so I gotta, okay. I have a very weird relationship with like facials and stuff like that. Like, okay, so years ago I got one. Not years ago, I mean it was a couple years ago. Every time I've ever gotten one, I just feel like it's like, okay, a serum. And let's wipe that off, put on another serum, wipe that off, put on another serum, wipe that off, put on another serum. And then like, you leave and you're like, blah. And you're, you know, I don't know. I like ones that do something that is like actually like scooping some stuff out of there and like doing some yeah, I don't know like you know what I'm saying you guys feel me though right so I like I like to feel like it's done something I like to feel like it's just like catered to what my skin needs and so yeah I got one like a while back and I remember my skin was pretty bad at the time like I didn't have like full-on like acne or anything but I had all those little I hope I know the shade and I'm sorry I don't know what to tell you like I just had all those like little clogged pores and stuff and I just told the girl I was like I know my, it's it, it's fine like I'm working on it it's, and she was like, yeah, your skin really doesn't look good. And I was like, wow, facials are so fun. Um, and then she was like, oh my God. And the whole time she was telling me like how shitty my skin was and like how this was wrong and all this and what I needed to be doing. And I was like, God, save me. But anyway, so my skin's been real good lately. Like the last several years, my skin's been real good. So when Brad and I were out of town, was it last week? I was like, okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna get me a facial. I'm gonna go because we went to the pool that day, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the spa. I'm gonna get a facial. I looked in the little book in the room, and there were all these different ones. They had really good ones. So you know, I picked a good one. I even called, and the girl told me like I, I picked. Actually, no, I didn't pick a good one. I, I ended up getting a good one, but I picked the wrong one to begin with. She was like, yeah, I mean, it's the same price as the like da 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 signature facial, um, and you want that one because it's like you're gonna get more for your money or whatever. She's like, the other one's just kind of like garbage. I went and you know like when your skin's good you're a little more adventurous I feel which is kind of weird I was like oh like I'm feeling real good about myself and just do whatever you want to and so it was one of those facials where like she did a few like little she didn't do like crazy extractions but like she put something on my skin um I don't know I'm not gonna go through all the steps because I don't remember but it's kind of like enzyme thing and then she used this like it was called like a skin spatula and like you'll just be talking and sometimes they'll turn on something and be like Bleh. you know and it'll be like like this little like pokey thing like Bleh. and you're like okay yeah uh -huh, I love that about your family but what the, what the hell is that that you're using on your skin you're like I need to know like what was happening so um it was like this little spatula this little like skin she said like sonic skin spatula and she was like scraping stuff and she like you know that part that they're always real excited about right here she scraped all that and like did some stuff and I was like don't touch my neck my neck is like super sensitive oh my gosh y'all I got I have another story about that which we don't even have time to get into that but I was like just don't touch my neck so she was really good with that um but like yeah it, it was really good you know so she was very good and she was cool we talked and she was really sweet and um and then at the end she was you know and she she did what my skin needed you know what I mean she's like I'm not gonna put like all this heavy crap on you and I'm not gonna do stuff that you don't need and all this stuff she did like this eye treatment which was really cool Oh, she did one of those things, um, which I don't even know. I mean, I've had it done. I've had this done twice. It's that like new face thing. The time I had it done before, I didn't really feel it. I just felt like some like, it's, it's like this. Okay. So basically it's shocking your skin. The things that we do, it's really stupid. Like, I don't even know, but it's like these two like metal balls and like they put like a serum on your skin and then they run the balls over your face and it basically like shocks your muscles and like tones them. And so it's like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and you don't feel it, but occasionally your eyebrow is going to be like, meow, meow. It's really, really freaking weird. So the first time I had it done, I just remember, this was like a few years ago, I just remember I had like a metal taste in my mouth. These are, this isn't anything like crazy. It's, it's just literally, I didn't even notice a difference the first time I had it done. Not much. Like, I mean, my skin felt tight and pretty, but like, it wasn't like, wow, I gotta go get this. They sell those. At like, I mean, you can buy them at like Sephora, I think, like the new face ones. I don't know if when you use them like in a, um, I'm trying to say like in a spa center or somewhere like that, or like a med spa or something. I don't know if they have like a stronger one. Um, this, I'm sorry, all this sun's getting real aggressive, but like she, so this second, so this time when I had it done, um, and she was like, look, like I'll, I won't do it if you don't want me to. And I was like, no girl, I'll just do it. You know, like, let's, let's see what this does. And so like she had it up so high. So first of all, like I'm tasting metal. That's what I was going to say. The first time I had it done, like I tasted metal too. I know it's so freaking weird. 
so like she's doing this and it's like oh you know it's all these good feels I'm like yeah and then it's like you know I'm feeling like these little feelings in my neck like because your muscles are like all and then she gets to my forehead and I'm not kidding like way back here in my head like there were these muscles that were like and, and I was like okay yeah you gotta stop so so she did like half of my forehead I was like please don't but she did the whole thing it was good I mean it were I mean it's like a tight a temporary tightening effect it went away like after a day but my skin felt real smooth and looked real good but the cool thing that she did was um like if you've ever gotten an oxygen facial which I had never done that they do that little machine and they like push you know the thing and it's like you know they just run the oxygen like mist over your face and it's really cool like you don't feel a lot it just feels like um like a cool mist and she was like you know this is gonna kill all the bacteria on the top of your skin which is gonna help you with like um uh like breakouts and then it's also gonna help like glowiness that was so good you guys if you ever have the option to do that or you think oh maybe it's not really doing anything it really did i really felt like it made my skin look really pretty i liked it a lot but the next day my skin was like a little red like almost burned looking like a sunburn but then it went away almost like or, or if you put something on your skin that's a little too harsh you know what it could have been the it could have been like the metal machine she was like shocking with no i'm kidding um but no, that new face thing is not a big deal it's just it just felt real weird i don't think i'll ever do that again um so what else to talk about so yeah that was pretty good but i'm just not a facial person okay if you have a life-changing facial that i need to try which i will tell you no i i am going to do this soon a hydra facial i've had so many people recommend that to me and even the girl that was doing my facial um was recommending that to me but like apparently the actual machine a lot of people can say that they're doing hydra facials but it's not real unless if it's like the machine that's called like the hydra facial machine i don't know especially it's something like a big don and only available like certain places you know what I mean like it's a big expensive machine I don't know but everybody says it's good and then the girl that was doing my facial last time was actually recommending it they didn't have a machine to do it there um but she or I would have gotten one obviously but she was saying it's satisfying because like you can see stuff in the tank when they're done that's come out of your skin which again why the hell are we all so gross like that is gross oh my gosh this is so nasty I can't believe it. oh that whole about it. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want any of you guys to go and get sucked down into this hole, which I'm sure you all are because I think the woman's got like 20 million followers or something, but the whole like Dr. Pimple Popper thing, I got into a black hole of that, blah, like I didn't even came with that I said that, like some thinking that, I said that word and I'm thinking about pictures that were on that Instagram account that I will never unsee. It's the stuff of literal nightmares. I get it though like because I watched it and I, I would click on a picture and I'd be afraid of what I was gonna see it's this dermatologist woman she's super I don't even have to tell you about her you know you should, you know about it you know about it okay dr. freaking pimple popper I'm telling you like she has I would really like to go to her I mean like cuz she's like a doctor you know she's I mean that Instagram account will um, haunt your dreams so uh, oh Lord have mercy so yeah, what are your favorite facials? What have you, if you guys have ever done a hydrofacial, um, tell me, cause I'm kind of curious about that. Um, and then also, let me also tell you about, um, let me also tell you about this. So I pulled out like the two things that I brought with me that I can show you guys for favorites now at this point in the video. I feel like we've just kind of mix, mixed them all in, but you guys, so I got another Lumi case, which is funny cause I had a Lumi case years ago and what's, I never turned on the freaking selfie button ever. Okay, here's what it does. It just lets you take better lit selfies. This one's cool though, because it has the light on the back. Does it? Yeah, so it has a light on the back, which I don't know if you can see. It is real bright. Like if you're taking a picture of like makeup on a table or a picture of like something on your hand, on your, it is real good. So I kind of love that. Have I used it yet for a photo? No, like one that I've actually posted or anything? No, it has like, um, like a pearl kind of dealy. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing on my lips. It's the new Too Faced Melted Metallic. Not metallic, matte. Matte metallic. Perfect, you guys. Let me tell you, the ones that say metallic are too much for me. It looks very 80s, very just too frosted, just weird. You know what I mean? It's just, it's much. It's, it's, it's just too much for me. This is perfect because it's got just like a tiny bit of a sheen to it. If, I might do a tutorial on how I did my makeup today. I don't know how I look in this car with this lighting. <laughs> with all this natural, horrible lighting. No, I'm kidding. Um, it should be pretty good, hopefully. I might, I might do it, because I really, really do like how I did my makeup today. And it was, it was so easy, you guys. So freaking easy. Um, so, this is called Sugar Kisses, and that's what I'm wearing today. So, I really do like it, but I've been wearing it for like a good 
hour or so, but I always want to put on like a little bit of gloss. So I, I'm just gonna do this because I don't care. Like that's what I do. Like I put it on before something because if I put the gloss on over it too long ahead, it'll wipe off. But since I'm about to go in, I'll do this because it'll it'll look cute. Uh, what else? Oh, you guys. Okay, so if you guys like powder on your face. You're going to be real into this, into my next suggestion, because usually I ain't got much for you because I don't talk about powders a whole lot or like like um, pressed powders or setting powders. The Too Faced Peach and the Hourglass Veil I really love. I use that here. So I got this like weeks and weeks back. It's the Armani Luminous Silk Compact Dual Use Powder Compact. Okay, it's a compact. They really want you to know. Okay, so I use the shade number two, and it's supposed to be like a powder foundation the guy in front of me is like she's totally doing a makeup tutorial what a weirdo um so you guys it looks like i'm kidding i'm gonna embarrass myself okay so i normally don't use this i would like to use a brush with it and that's how i've used it like when i'm at home and i'm doing my makeup sometimes i will take a big powder brush and i will just put a little like doop doop now, i don't like to set my makeup like horrendously horrendously i don't like to like overly set my makeup but i like to do that just a little bit you know what i mean sometimes but I really do like the whole like touch up aspect of this it's a nice little thing but I could see myself see I'm not like oily I just want my foundation to look a little better oh and then this like ugh, stupid zit so yeah after I had the facial I got a, I broke out so anytime I ever get like if they ever see anything weird or they do an extraction I always break out like crazy but if I'm gross and I do it at home, because we all do, like, don't even say that you don't. Like, if I've got, like, something little, like a little, like, you know those little milia bumps? That's what I always, that's, that's what I'm always getting. Like, if I have one, I'm like, you know, how you can kind of, like, like that. It looks like a little grain of sand under your skin, and you can, like, take one of those little, like, round things. Oh, my gosh, I'm totally, oh, yeah. I don't know why we're talking about this so much. Like, the Dr. Pimple Popper thing, I'm like, really warped my brain. No, but, um that's what they do at the dermatologist like they'll actually the dermatologist they'll like put a little pin and then they'll you know what I mean that freaks me the hell out and then I'm always so swollen and broken out I haven't done that in years though that was like several years ago when I've done that but like sometimes people just mess with it you know what I mean but but when I do it at home it never does anything and I'll tell you why oh my gosh I may have also broken out because I ran out of my Peter Thomas Roth Peter Thomas Roth pads for like five days I didn't have them I did have them they were under my sink and I just thought I didn't have them so I ordered another pack and then it was it was a mess um real big deal no but um if I ever skip those or I'm ever ever without those for a while I break out this video is 40 minutes long oh my gosh um but anyways here's what I do I take if I ever do like squeeze anything or like anything Take those Peter Thomas Roth pads. It has alcohol in it. It's, it has like a little, you know, some medicated stuff. Like do that. Like get it real good, and then use the little benzoyl peroxide cream, the Kate Somerville, and just dab it on there, and it will like it'll be good. So um, I'll link to my dress. I'll link to everything that I'm wearing. I haven't put my shoes on yet. I got those right here. Um, so I'm gonna get in here and go hang out with my friend for a little bit. So I'm sorry that I wasn't like, you know, walking around with my phone in my face or my camera in my face, but we were just out and about and we're doing this and it was a little easier, I thought, to do it in the car. If you like these types of videos, let me know. Um, I've got some decor stuff coming soon. I've got some basement updates. I'm going to sh show you guys like some random decor stuff and then we'll do like some Q&A stuff soon. I've got so much to share with you guys. Um, if you have questions, I'm going to cover everything. Just, you know, we'll, we'll talk. Love you guys so much and um, have a wonderful week. Bye guys.